I do not condone this kind of situation whatsoever. <laughs> Hey guys, Melinda here. Today I am going to be talking about the film What If. For some reason I really struggled with finding a film this week and this is the one that piqued my interest and I found so we're rolling with it this week. Not the best pick. Wish I had a little bit more time so I could have watched something else but it's okay. We're moving on. We're rolling through it. So yes, I am going to be talking about the movie What If. Before I go into the specifics, if you haven't seen any of my other movie or TV reviews, I like to review it in a way that gives no spoilers so that way anybody can click onto this video get an idea if they want to go watch it or not or hear my thoughts if you've already seen it. I will only be talking about anything that is specifically referenced in the trailer so if you go watch the trailer there's no spoilers it's in there yada 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 you know the whole spiel. Okay. <laughs> what If is a movie that was released in 2013 and it is classified as a rom-com so I decided to go a little bit lighthearted this week and this film is streaming on Amazon Prime right now if you guys have that streaming platform you want to go watch it. Basically what this film is about is that this guy and this girl, Wallace and Chantry, they meet and they have like an instant connection. They get along really well and they have like the same sense of humor. Chantry reveals that she has a boyfriend of five years. Basically has like the talk with Wallace of like, we're really good friends and like I just don't want there to be any miscommunication, misinterpretation. I would love to keep hanging out with you, be friends. Wallace of course has a crush on her and is just like, you know what, I enjoy spending time with you, let's do it. Basically that's the whole premise of the film is that they just get along so well as friends and Wallace has a secret crush on Chantry the entire time. And shenanigans just come with that obviously in that situation. So that's what the film is about. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive right into the specifics. First, I wanted to note that this film has so many big names. I feel like I say this in everything that I see, but I guess it's because, I don't know, I just tend to recognize people more now in random films that I watch, I don't know. The thing that I will say about this though is that because this film came out eight years ago, most of these big name actors weren't big names back then. So it's, it's interesting to see something that is eight years old and and see how much these people's careers have progressed since then. It's it's really interesting to see them before they had like their breakout roles. Minus Daniel Radcliffe who plays Wallace. He was obviously in the Harry Potter franchise before this so I would say that this is him continuing on his acting career which by the way he has done a lot since then. Just to give you guys an idea of who was in this film, and I apologize if I say any of their names wrong, we have Daniel Radcliffe, Zoe Kazan, Mackenzie Davis, Adam Driver, Megan Park, and Raph Spall. There were some other people that I recognized, but they had smaller roles. The ones that I just named are like the big characters, the important characters in this film. This film started off really cute, and I was enjoying it. I thought it was a really light-hearted, fun story, and like you kind of are rooting for Wallace but you're kind of not because you can see Chantra really does like her boyfriend Ben they've been together for five years you're conflicted because you see how much chemistry Wallace and Chantry have and you kind of want them to be a thing but like you don't want them to break up because of Wallace so yes it started off really cute and really fun I will say though that this film very went downhill about halfway through. I was prepared to say what a cute film this was, but then I actually ended up writing more bad notes about it than good. So Chantry's career, she is an animator. Throughout the film, they tried to show like in her mind, her animations coming to life. So you would see her animated, her turning into a butterfly if she's happy and flying and all of this stuff. And I just, I wanted to say that I thought the animations were kind of weird and takes you out of the film. It just felt very cheesy and and childish in my opinion. So I wasn't a big fan of the animations. I understand what they were trying to go for with it. Basically show how she's feeling without dialogue involved, but I don't know. I, I just wasn't a fan of it and I didn't like it. I don't like that Wallace's college roommate, played by Adam Driver, is cousins with Chantry and that's how they meet. They're at like some kind of house party and Adam Driver introduces Chantry to Wallace. This is my cousin, blah, 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 blah. I just felt like the fact that they were cousins just didn't feel natural. It didn't make sense. It wasn't 
organic, like wanted to tie all of these characters together somehow. Here I'm just thinking they don't need to be cousins, they can just be friends that are at uh, the same house party, you know? Like why, why do they need to be related, I guess? And then another relationship that I question is Wallace's college roommate and best friend, Adam Driver, ends up dating Mackenzie Davis's character. Mackenzie Davis's character and Wallace's just felt weird. Mackenzie Davis's character and Adam Driver's character they start dating at the beginning of this film. So they weren't previously dating and their relationship is just moving way too fast. And it made me a little uncomfortable of how close they were. There was a time when Mackenzie Davis's character is talking to Wallace about pursuing Chantry. And I'm just thinking, how on earth are they this close that they can comfortably have this conversation? It didn't feel right to me. It didn't feel natural. It felt like a plot device that they were just trying to keep the story moving forward. and. It it just made no sense with the characters that they would use. That's kind of how I feel about Adam Driver's character being cousins with Chantry. It was just like a plot device, which I didn't I didn't like any of that. They just really weird relationships that didn't make sense. Obviously in this kind of story, there's gonna be a lot of tension rising and a big blow up and you know, there's gonna be some kind of fight. Before we get there, Chantry and Wallace have like a mini fight. Personally, that mini fight was very unnecessary. The context of it was completely wrong. They were mad at each other when they should have been mad at outside people and just kind of nitpicking each other's flaws and personalities at that point, which as friends, that is not something that you would do, especially in such a tiny little fight that they were having. That fight just didn't feel real to me and it felt like they, the writers were trying to create something that was overly dramatic and that didn't need to be dramatic at all. If anything, they should have taken that opportunity to make that scene get Wallace and Chantry closer. Just an idea. It just felt like it was bad writing and very uncharacteristic of Wallace and Chantry. Okay, and then leading up to the big blow up that always happens in like this kind of rom-com kind of story, especially with Wallace pursuing Chantry who's been in a relationship for five years, you know that there's gonna be some kind of drama involved. So their big blow up, again, felt like bad writing and very uncharacteristic. I hated what they did with Chantry's character. They made her extremely selfish in that situation. And you go through this film seeing that she is like the most lovable person ever. So kind, so friendly, so warm and inviting. And so when they have this big blow up, it snapped like that. It's a completely different character. So that's why I was shocked at what they had her say and do and it just didn't feel natural. It felt very uncharacteristic and just not the best writing. It could have gone a different route. And then that kind of leads into my next point and that's the ending felt way too fast and felt way too rushed. Within the last 20 minutes of the film is when we get this big blow up and then everything is magically resolved and happy again. That is not enough time to explore character development, characters' feelings, a sense of time passing. There is none of that present when you rush an ending like this. The writer should have taken more time to explore each of the characters' feelings and inner thoughts, all of that, so that we could come together at the end and have the happy resolution. That is another thing that I just did not like about this film at all. I didn't really like the role of Chantry's sister. She could have played a more significant role and could have had a better relationship with the characters, like just have some kind of presence and importance in being in the story and it just didn't feel like it. Like she kind of felt like a filler character again to just keep the story moving forward. When I felt like she could have played a bigger role. The role that she did play just, I didn't like it. I, I want to take her out of it with what they did with her. That is something else that I wish they could have changed or developed differently. I wasn't feeling the character. Especially the fact that we already have family relationship with Chantry, cousins with Adam Driver. Now we have a sister there's too much going on. We should just all be friends. Everything is good. Okay, that is pretty much gonna wrap up all of my big thoughts and notes that I had on this film. Bottom line, I would still say that this is a very cute and entertaining film. It's awkward and funny and relatable. This scene is in the trailer, so this isn't a spoiler. There is a time when Wallace goes over to Chantry's house and they're all having like a just cute little dinner party. Wallace accidentally knocks 
been out of a window. That entire scene was absolutely hilarious and probably the best part of the entire film. So yes, it was cute, awkward, quirky, funny, but it was a very flawed film and script and there were a lot of things and relationships that I wish were different, were changed. Final note is that the ending also left things a little unclear that I wish they would have developed further and explained better. And yeah, that, that is everything. So there we have what if? Not the best film. I would say if you just need a lighthearted, past the time kind of film, like you don't really want to pay attention to it, but it's still fun if you do, I would recommend this then. I guess overall I probably wouldn't because I have more issues with it than praises. That is everything for this movie review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all for the support. If you like this movie review or you like the film, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. It would absolutely mean the world to me. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already and you want to see more content. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Live life, always laugh, and enjoy the journey. Bye. If you like the fit.